We're welcome to the airways, Abby Silverberg Sparks from Christmas Ain't a Dragon. She's actually in rehearsal, so this is we we're gonna we don't wanna we want her to be able to get back. So, can you talk a little bit about the the show and um, what our audiences can expect when they come see it? Well, the show is a love story that takes place during the holiday season. So, what they can expect is. It takes place in a nightclub on Christmas Eve. So we've actually transformed the cutting room, which is an iconic venue in New York City, into our club to go. And we use the entire club as our club, so we've taken it over. And everybody, there's a house band, and everybody's either looking for love, lost love, has unrequited love. They all end up at this our club, Club DeVoe. You, so they, yes. Oh, no, keep on going because I want, no, you keep on going. No, but so it's a, uh, we have a, a huge big band, you know, an eight piece band with horns. It's all original music. It's rock and roll, blues and jazz music. And, um, you know, it's sort of, if anybody's ever seen Rocky Horror Picture Show, it's like a mix of that burlesque. Little Shop of Horrors and Kinky Boots, but it all takes place on Christmas Eve. I love, oh God, that. I love that. This <laughs> is like the most romantic time of year. I love this. Or love, and it people is. feel good, right? Oh, it's a feel good show. There's no, there's, it's all about love, romance, acceptance, and that yes. people find, and magic that people find are, at Christmas time. So, how long have you been working on the show? When, when was it first conceived? Well, the show was conceived, um, David George, who is my partner, mm -hmm. he was a singer-songwriter who was on tour at one point with John Fogarty, the legend. Wow. Cool. And so he, um, he created the, um, the story, the book, about 2015, and um, he co-wrote the lyrics and music to every single song except one that we adopted um, with a... Uh, you know, a co-music lyricist and uh, writer. And then I came on board in 2015 or 16. And uh, so we, like, I took it to New York. So it started in Kansas City as the concept, mm. you know. But um, then I took it to New York and found our third partner, who's my co-executive producer, Rick Zivit. And our music director used to tour with David and still plays the keys for John Fogarty. He arranged all the music, and um, he's a composer in his own right. And he did last year the opening song for the Grinch movie that came out. Oh, oh cool. And his name is Bob Malone. So we ha our band is a top-notch musicians from New York, L.A., all over. And we've got, so the music alone is um, one aspect. The choreography is the second aspect, and we hope everybody sings along, claps along, and actually comes home with a dance like the Rocky Horror Picture Show had, or High School Musical, there's a memorable dance everybody does. Right, right. So that's that's the that's our show. That's exciting. So uh, give our listeners the details. Where can they get uh, more information and purchase tickets? Okay, so um, tickets are available, and we're close to selling out. We do Ooh. have a few more, but we only have like four VIPs left. And then the rest is general admission. Um, VIP is general admission, too. It's just that you get to meet and greet with a champagne reception Ooh, after the show. Um, so you can go to the Cutting Room uh, website at, or Eventbrite and plug in a Christmas Ain't a Drag. And then, um, tickets are available through Eventbrite. And you can find them also at the Cutting Room calendar because we're like the we're two days out. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm like, oh my. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I feel like I keep on cutting you off. I'm just. I have another. I'm so excited. I have another question for you. So, what was the inspiration for the show? You know, what like what's the backstory? What's the history? The backstory is David George, who created the show, um, wrote the story. He was inspired by a fellow musician. Um, Brian Setzer mm, and yes. Brian Setzer. Christmas I love Orchestra. Brian Setzer. Mm -hmm. Yes. So David, I think at one point even either played with them or wrote with them. I can't speak for him, 
that David and I have been together for like almost five years now. Right. So, um, but that that was David's inspiration, and he wanted to write his own stuff, store uh, songs for the holiday. And we all love the holiday season, you know. In New York, we, you know, it's all month. I mean, last yeah. night was the tree lighting. I know Macy's Santa came at the Macy's Day Parade. So we're we're here. We're totally in the spirit, and you know, we wanted to do. We've been developing it here at the Cutting Room for the last three years. Oh, yeah. So we, um, the three of us, David, George, Rick, Zivic, and myself. We formed CAD Partners, and Rick and I are the co-executive producers. And we did a reading a couple of years ago, and the Cutting Room has been our presenting partner throughout this. They've been so amazing to us. And then last year, during um, a, the hugest performing arts conference in the world is in January in New York called APAP, yeah. APAP. Yep. Yep. So we did an yep. off-campus, so to speak, showcase just since everyone that came the first year in, um, only saw like a reading, this last year we did the, the big band and we did the music um, with just our, one of our stars in the show who's sort of like the Joel Grey mm -hmm. or, um, you know, or the burlesque character. So uh, Alan Cumming, that's his name, yeah. is coming to mind. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have one of those and he's... Alan better watch out because John Carlin is going to give him a run for his money. <laughs> I'm so but, excited uh, that you guys are almost sold out because there's really nothing like Christmas time in New York City. Like, I mean, you like hit the nail on the head. There's just this magic. And I love when you mentioned acceptance. Yes. It's, you a, know? Very, it's a part of our show. We don't dwell on it. We don't lecture. You know, we have... Um, Somebody, you know, a singer-songwriter from L.A. ends up hearing the music and wanders into our club. And he's miserable. He just got dumped by his high school sweetheart. He, he's just so despondent. Right. And, you know, welcome to our Lonely Hearts Club. And then he sees the lead singer of the band, the house band, and just falls head over heels. But she rejects him at every turn. So, you know, there's that. There's a single mom who's the bartender who apparently there's some backstory there because... The leader of the band was trying to get her to give him one more chance, you know, and and so there's that story. So it's all about acceptance. There's so many different underlying themes to the show. But in the end, it's just a feel good, happy, you know, happy time. And the music will knock everyone's socks off. I hope I'm I, sure. I've been in love with it since I met, I heard the music. So how did you come up with the title? Because the title's great. Yeah, that that would be a question for our creator who is in the band. So I he cannot. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to linger on that question, everyone. But to okay. be honest with you, I don't think we want to elaborate because there is a, there is there are some surprises. Yes, I was going to say show. no spoilers, no spoilers. I yeah, get so it. No spoilers, and we do still have tickets. And I I took um I had held some back because we knew we knew that once and you know the trade press and the New York media have been pre pre-writing about it for us as well. So it's been wonderful and um, and the social buzz. So I held some back because I knew that would happen. Of so course. I'm releasing them. When I hang up with you, I'm going back downstairs to release the, 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 the I, you know, I have a good stack that I'm going to announce that we're going to release. And um, to our listeners, you can go on Instagram. There's uh, Christmas Ain't a Drag is there. You can follow their page on Facebook. Do that for yes. sure. Um, you know, we got to all support each other. In this thank art you. artistic world. And I know that you have to get back to rehearsal. So thank you so much, Abby, for thank joining us. Thank you so us. much. No, thank you so much for having me. And, you know, one last thing is they also can purchase tickets through our website. Oh, okay. And learn more about the show there or on the Cutting Room site. But their synopsis is the same. Right. <laughs> and it's www.christmasaintadrag.com. Christmasaintadrag.com. And that's the truth. Christmas ain't a drag. It's not going to be a drag this Saturday Not night at the Cutting sure. Room. Not at the no. Cutting Room NYC. Our goal, our goal is next year to have the whole holiday season and stay and, and have it in New York every year. And we already have it. cities interested in it. So oh my. we're rocking and rolling. You know That's what? Amazing. You're on the upward, the, what's it, the upward swing, the upswing. The You're upswing, on the upswing, yeah, Abby. The plan all along and it's dreams do come true. 
Well, they do, especially, you know what, with your attitude like that, I mean, yeah, no, I mean, you got a great, at, you're positive, you know what I mean? Of course, you're going to, you're going to rise, you guys. Well, it's a, it's a great, pro it's a great, it really is a great show, if I do say so myself. Well, you know, I love big band music. I mean, who doesn't love, I mean, that music, I hear Glenn Miller, yeah. and I'm, you know, I'm well, ready just, to And be just like, telling us the description of it, we were looking, Lauren and I were looking at each other going, this sounds you amazing. You have to come. I want to come. in New Jersey, right? We're we in New are. Jersey. Right, you well, then you definitely can come I in know. for it, and the I weather's like going to be clear. The last thing I want to say is this is like a lot of people who grew up in New York or the tri-state area. It's like old New York at this the club because it's a dinner theater uh -huh. ambiance. So we're serve, you know, they serve dinner at the cutting room, and they have a full bar. And we're even going to have some special Christmas drinks that are names of a song. I love that. Love that. I love so, I love special so drinks. So fun. <laughs> I love ordering a special drink. <laughs> yeah, we have two special drinks. So, you know, um, it's just going to be magical. And the decorations are already partially up. They'll be totally up by Saturday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, we just started, you know, dress. Well, we didn't. We started at 10 a.m., but this is our first full dress rehearsal, and it's really exciting. So I'm going to get back to it. Go back to rehearsal, Go back Abby, to it. and Thank hopefully you so much. we can see you Saturday at the show. But uh, please let me know. I will. Okay. I'll let you know. Um, off off uh, offline air. off the air yes. i will <laughs> abby go back to your rehearsal i it, it sounded great everything that we've been hearing when you've been walking yeah. around so it's exciting and um have a great show and go get your tickets for christmas ain't a drag right now break a leg break yes. a leg thanks abby thank you thank you guys all Bye. right take Bye. care Bye.